crochet buddy. I yes. want a crochet tutorial. All right. Okay. Let's start with the chain stitch. You will need a ball of yarn and a cr and crochet buddy, a crochet hook. When you are ready, say start. Do a slip knot. See, I'm already. It's like I know a slip knot like the back of my hand, but now I can't do one because I have to. All right. <laughs> I'm going to throw my crochet hook. <laughs> to begin, let's make a slip knot. Flip the yarn around your index finger, then grab some yarn from between the loop you made and the ball or skein of yarn that, and then pull it through the loop. When you are ready, say next or say repeat to hear this step again. Next. Put your hook through the slip knot. Okay, next. Now tightly loop the yarn around your crochet hook. Next. Finally, pull your hook through the first slip knot, bringing the second loop you made with it. Next. Awesome. Oh, you have created your first chain stitch. Repeat this step 11 more times to make a base chain of 12. To hear the stitch instructions again, say one more time. Now you are ready to learn the double crochet. Start by tightly looping the yarn around your crochet hook. Next. Now for this stitch only, take your hook and put it through the third chain away from the hook. On the rest of the stitches, it will be the chain next to your last stitch. Oh, okay. okay. Now pull the loop closest to the hook through the two loops at the front of the hook at the back of the hook. Can you see me? Did I do that right? Uh, wow, this hurts my brain. All right, congratulations. You have completed your first double crochet. Yeah. To, get <laughs> to get familiar with this stitch, repeat it nine more times until the end of your row. Remember the next chain that you put on your hook, that you put your hook through should be right next to the last stitch. To hear the double crochet instructions again, say one more time. One more time. It's hard to make it loose enough. It does not help that you're using the terrible crochet hook. Does not help. <laughs> would, would knowing the number of hooks on the loop or a number of like wrap times there's yarn wrapped around the hook while crochet buddy is giving you instructions would that be helpful oh for sure so like you should have three loops around the hook that would be helpful yeah okay 